The oneness movement budget is uh, consists of several different budgets, and the problem data, uh, the spreadsheet that's got the uh, instructions uh, on the tab, and then the template that we're going to be working with, can be found online uh, at a link given to you uh, from your instructor. What I would recommend is that you go to that link uh, and print out all of this data. It's, it's too cumbersome to be going back and forth, and I'm not even going to be going back and forth between the data and the template. Um, so go ahead and print it out. And then uh, we're going to just do each, uh, I'll break up the recordings according to each budget so that you can zero in if you just need a particular budget. So the first budget that we're going to be completing is the sales budget. And the template for this uh, is right here. So. What I have done is take the data from the data instructions uh, right here. These are the sales for January through February, March, April, and May, and put them in on the template. And then actual sales in December were 71,000. So we're working with actual for December, and then we're doing the projection for May. So I'm going to put 71,000 in here. What we need to do is arrive at our sales, unit sales. So if we have our sales dollars divided by the selling price, it's $12. And all of this information is given in the uh, problem. So put a little formula in here. This equals... 71, so cell C20, divided by $12. Now we can copy that. The way to copy is you get that little X, or that little plus sign, rather, in the corner and carry it across. So now we have our unit sales. The idea behind all of these budgets now is instead of typing in a number, we're going to do everything with formulas. There will be very few numbers that we have to actually type in. These uh, total sales revenue we had to type in and the $12, but the rest is going to be formulas. And you will be graded uh, according to the formulas that you use. And if you type in numbers where you could have used a formula, then you will not get full credit uh, for your budgeting problem. The first requirement uh, is cash collections. And it says in the data that sales are 35% cash, 65% credit. All credit sales are collected in the month following the sale. Okay, so that means that our cash collections are going to be equal to 35 percent times our total sales revenue for January. Now, I can copy this formula across, except I can't take it to the quarter because the quarter is going to be the sum of all of these three. So the quarter column actually has to be able to stand alone. Now I could use the sum at sum function or I can come up here to auto sum and it will sense that I'm trying to add these three together and so I can just hit return. Now the credit collections are 65% of the previous month sales. So this equals 65% times we're in January, the previous month was December. And I should be able to copy this one across as well. 
because it's going to keep it'll refer back to the one in January and then March we collect from February and again I can just copy that uh, down and we want to sum this up here so I'll come up use the auto sum and again it senses those two numbers above and so uh, I can do the auto sum in these two or once I've got it I can just copy that across so again the quarter column has to make sense as if it were standing alone so the cash collections for the quarter are 116 760 the total credit collections are 188 uh, 110 and these are our total cash collections we will continue the production budget on the next recording